watching. Uh, today we are going to go ahead and answer a question that was asked. Um, they would like to be able to automatically save it using the person's name and the invoice number into a location. So, we are going to go ahead and create a folder in my documents and this is going to be called whatever you want you just have to remember the name so we're going to call it YouTube Save alright that said we're going to go ahead and hit Alt F11 and Alt I M that will create a new module we're going to name this functions start a new function called it's going to be public and it's going to be called save name okay we're going to have it pass a parameter called extension and it's going to be a string okay and this needs to be saved as a string First off, we want to get the values of the customer name and the, and the invoice number. So, here we go ahead and say we're going to declare the customer name as a string and we're going to declare invoice number as a string. set that. But to set that, to make it easy, we're going to go ahead and name this customer name. Okay. And this is going to be invoice number. And you can check that by clicking in the cell and you will see that it's called customer name and clicking the cell and it's called invoice number. Alright, so now that we have that we can go ahead and set our values and we're going to say customer name CSTR equals range and we're going to call it customer name. This is not case sensitive. that's right by going into your Excel sheet and say equals save name and then we're going to go ahead and type PDF hit enter and now that is correct that's how we want to save it if we would like to replace uh, 
the spaces with an underscore, we can do that as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and replace. We're going to replace space with underscore. Alright, so now we can go ahead and refresh this here by hitting Alt. Okay, well F9 actually um, pauses the video and I did not realize that. So I'm going to go ahead and just go back in here and remove the parentheses and there you go. Now you can see that it has replaced that with uh, one string as opposed to spaces which can make things tricky later. Alright, so now we've done that. Let's go back to our Visual Basic edit Editor and go into um, uh, send mail. Sorry, it's been a while since I've opened this. It might take a second. I'm going to hit pause. Okay, so I found where the code was. Sorry if you're watching it all in. And it took me a second. But it's all under the invoice sheet here. And we have a command button save as PDF dot click. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to extract this into a uh, sub procedure and we're going to go ahead and insert a module and call this module uh, save me okay so to do this let's clean up our workspace a little bit and so we have our our file path and we have sorry I'm just reading through this I should have did this alright so alright so let's go ahead and create one called save public alright let's just go ahead and make it a sub and call it save going to pass a string. Save as PDF. And we're going to make a path string. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, now let's go ahead and um, we later on need to do that. Alright, so we're going to set um, this workbook dot sheets and we're going to say uh, sheet name. Alright, and what we need to say is set ws equal to that. Alright, so now that we've done that, um, you can put it on a separate line if you want. Um, it really doesn't matter. Alright, so now that we've done that, we can go ahead and say, get rid of this. And put WS Now we've done that. Now we've separated that and we can just go ahead and say save as PDF. And to do so, let's put um, uh, S file.
so. And this needs to be that. So now we've done that. Alright. Now. What we probably should do is change this. The goal of this was to have it, when you do it, it automatically just saves so it, you don't have to deal with the pop-up. Now, we created a folder in our documents called YouTube Save. If you go into that, you click here, and you can see in the top navigation bar the complete path for your folder that you did. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. You see that it's, you know, um, yours is obviously going to be different than mine here. So let's go ahead and create some constants. This, using constants, will allow us later, if we move that file, to very easily change it. So let's go ahead and create a new module. And we're going to call this constants. We're going to make a public const, and we're going to call it file path, and this is going to be here. Okay, so that we've done that. this may not be the exact syntax you, you may have to have string in there um, but honestly I yeah this one I, I don't think you have to uh, but I'm pretty sure that when you add that that's correct okay so now we have a way to store that so we're going to close out of that right and let's go ahead and test this out real quick. So let's go ahead and say file path. Okay. And when we click out, you see it's correct. Let's go ahead and make sure we are still working. Oh, and then we also need to probably on that S file. Whoops. Let's go ahead and say ampersand. Oops. Uh, I forget the name of the function. Um, sorry, guys. Save name. save it as a PDF. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try to do this. Let's go ahead and hit save as PDF. We have a compile error. Okay, so let's push, let's check and see what's going on here. See what question um, doesn't like that string there. Okay. Well, this is good. I'm glad this actually happened for you guys because now you can see me debugging the file. All right. So let's go back to save as PDF. which is right here, and it's saying a path is string. Um, oh, that's because we 
you have it as a variant. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and save this as a string. Okay. There we go. That should work now. Let's go to debug and compile. And it compiled fine. So let's go ahead and try it again. Save as PDF. We did not get an error. Let's go here. And you see where it saved. So it did not save in the correct spot. It added the YouTube save and then the John. So what we actually want, let's go ahead and delete this. Okay, now let's go back. And what we actually want is this. Okay, now let's go ahead and try it. Save as PDF. Did not get an error. Let's go back here to Documents, YouTube Save, and now John Smith is there with our correct. Okay, so that's great. All right, now the next video, what I might want to do is give you an option to save as something else, um, or somewhere around there. I'm not sure. Please post your comments and we will uh, do accordingly. I hope you enjoy.